Hey everybody. You know, it's uh, since 2020, so much has happened in this world. It's it's insane, isn't it? You know, four years, in four short years, we've had a global pandemic. We've had a global uh, jab, I won't say the V word, but the jab that caused so much division in the world. Millions of people died. We've had a stolen election in the United States. We've had now another war going on in the Middle East with Israel fighting against Iran. Um, we've had this crazy movement of uh, transgenderism just absolutely taking the United States by storm and the Western world, I should say. We've had a former president running for re-election and having two assassination attempts on his life. Um, I mean, the stuff that's happening in this world, we've had an Epstein and we've had a P. Diddy now. Uh, open borders where people are, I mean, if you point out the obvious of what's happening, how uh, not just in the United States, but in Europe, Canada, and so many other Western nations where uh, open borders has caused so much, so many problems. We've had uh, this global rise of Antifada, this, this call to uh, globally convert the world to Islam. You know, so much has happened in such a little time. And I don't think it's going to change. I don't think that things are going to all of a sudden just level off and, and be normal. And, you know, everybody's going to get along because we're all patriotic and American or because everyone is uh, in their right mind. It, you know, I just don't see that happening. I think that we are, you know, as a world, as a global society, we have gone uh, to the point of no return, right? Like the Bible says, let him who is wicked continue to do wicked and him who is righteous continue to, to be righteous. Talking about the last days. And I feel like that's what I don't feel like I believe we're seeing that happen right in front of our eyes that people who are wicked are just continuing to do wicked they're becoming more wicked and those who are righteous are holding on to their faith those who are truly filled with the Spirit of God see what's happening in the world and um, you know you know it's it's I want to speak to my brothers and sisters in Christ you know with all the stuff that's happening in the world around us and you see it and maybe your family doesn't see it, maybe your coworkers don't see it, maybe your neighbor doesn't see it, maybe your friends don't see it, maybe your children don't see it, maybe your parents don't see it, but you see it. You see it very clearly. You know what's happening. And you know that biblically speaking, from a biblical worldview, you know these things have to happen. You know what comes next. And... It's hard sometimes, even though we know the truth, even though we know that the world will plunge into global chaos, because the Bible says that. It's hard sometimes to still maintain love, love for our neighbors, love for our enemies, love for people in general. It's hard to keep holding on to faith when we see evil what seems to be uh, winning and thriving. It's hard to maintain peace with people or even peace, inner peace, when there's so much strain, stress and chaos all around us. But man, I want you to know something that God is never cha has never changed. He is who he's always been times change people change circumstances change but man god is the rock that is higher than us he is the strong tower 
that the righteous run into and we are saved. He is the one who will be with us through the fire and the flood and we won't be overwhelmed or overtaken. Jesus told the disciples that if when he was talking about the Tower of Saloma that fell on people and when uh, Pilate had killed some people and mixed their blood with the uh, sacrifice. And he said, you likewise will perish if you don't repent. And I just think about that, that Jesus is not concerned with the here and the now as much as he is about the eternal. And I want to just, I just want to encourage all my brothers and sisters to hold on to love, hold on to faith, hold on to hope. Because what we're seeing happen is fulfillment of biblical prophecy. What did we think the end times would look like? What do we think, you know, did we think it was going to be a, a walk in the park? Did we think, uh, you know, God was not serious about the things that he inspired his authors to write for us? The warnings have been given and we can be excited that as terrible as things are becoming and there's much suffering, women and children being trafficked, horrible, horrible, bombs falling on people, horrible, people killing each other in the streets, nation against nation, ethnic group against ethnic group, horrible, all horrible stuff. And that's all the more reason why we have to keep our trust and our faith and our hope alive in Christ Jesus, not in man, not in ourselves, not in the government, but in Christ, in God's holy word that has told us these things will come to pass. And here we are. You know, <clears throat> the Bible says that the pain a woman endures when she's in labor is not fun, it's not enjoyable. But when she sees the baby come, come forth out of that pain, that she is ecstatic about it. And she's no longer thinking about the pain. She's too busy focused on the birth of a beautiful child. The kingdom of heaven, the, the kingdom of God is being birthed. And this is the birthing pains that we're going through. And so take heart that on the other side of this, you know, Jesus, the Bible says that Jesus suffered that for the, for the glory of that was before him, he endured the cross. Some people say that he went to the cross uh, happy and joyful and cheerful. And it's, it's crazy. He didn't enjoy the cross. The Bible doesn't anywhere say that he enjoyed the cross, but he endured it. He went through the suffering, why? Because he knew on the other side of that suffering, was glory and that's the same for us the student is not above or better than the master but it's enough for us to be like the master and what he went through we also should expect to go through rejection and persecution and even death if need be but on the other side of that is glory it's glory with him the one who paved the way the one who went before us the first of the, the one who is the first fruit. Hallelujah. And so I want to encourage my brothers and sisters. Keep your head up. Stay strong in your faith. Keep looking up for our redemption is drawing near. Amen. God bless you guys. Stay well. Stay blessed. And uh, stay prayed up.